Dr. Bob Arnott here. I am your Men's Journal Health columnist. We're out here in Kenya with uh, Daniel Lone Rogers. Uh, you're a pilot out here. Now, this particular continent doesn't have the world's best air safety records. So you want to be really careful in terms of choosing an aircraft. Now, we chose you because you've been around since 1948, MAFS. It's a turbine aircraft, so we know it's a really reliable engine. What else are you looking for out here to have a really good, safe flight with a reliable crew and airplane? Well, you may have noticed, I don't know if you were around when I, when I came in, but anytime we're going to an airstrip that's under par, which most of them are, we always do an airfield inspection. So we fly over the field, and I then came back and actually flew nice and low <coughs> over the strip to take a good look at the surface. And this airstrip is actually quite a good one. Uh, some of the ones we fly in South Sudan are quite hazardous, so we have to be very careful when we assess it. Now, they're at war right now, the, the, the north against the south. They're bombing out there. Uh, you've been flying up there. What do you watch out for? How do you protect yourself when you're actually flying in a war zone? Before we ever take off, we have to get a, a report, a UN report, or uh, the people that we're flying for, they'll be on the ground where we're at our destination, and then we talk to them and make sure that it's safe before we land. Yeah. Hey, what do you do to be safe in the air? Well, in the air, the biggest hazard would be weather. Uh, and since the weather reporting in this part of the world isn't the greatest, um, we have to rely on the weather radar and other equipment we have in the aircraft, and then also local knowledge of the weather patterns. And, and staggering weather out here. I mean, amazing thunderstorms, torrential downpours. You don't want to get caught between one of those. Yeah, the good thing is they're usually fairly localized, so you just fly around them, generally. The problem is if you need to land at an airstrip that's uh, under <laughs> heavy downpour, then you have to wait or go somewhere else. So. You make it sound easy. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Again, Dr. Bob Arnott here for Men's Journal, your Men's Journal Health columnist on air safety here in Africa. Thanks again.